Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for joining me here on Yoga TX. I'm Jen Hillman, and I am excited to bring you this all new pain relief series. So over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be bringing you a series of different pain relief videos targeted to different areas of your body. So today we are kicking it off with some stretches to relieve back pain. I know that back pain is one of the biggest challenges that the workforce experiences. So it's really important that we take good care of our spinal health. So you have come to the right place. Go ahead and like this video. Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And go ahead and roll out your mat and we are going to begin our practice in a nice easy seat. So take a moment to let yourself get comfortable. And if it feels good to sit on a cushion or a folded up blanket, it might be helpful to lift your hips up a little higher so that you can find a sense of ease in your seat. Then we'll just go ahead and take a moment to get centered and grounded. So you can close your eyes for a moment and begin to tune in to the rhythmic flowing of your breath. And let your mind begin to settle down, letting go of the thoughts, letting go of the busyness. Just let yourself tune into this moment for this time, for this practice. And letting your hands relax forward onto your knees, we're gonna begin with just some seated cat and cow connected with the rhythm of your breath as you inhale. Lift your heart, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back, and you can even gently lift your gaze as you rise to the top of your inhale. And as you exhale, scoop from the belly button in, curling in on yourself, rounding through your spine. You can even gently lean back to access a little stretch into your spine. And again, we'll inhale, coming forward. Nice, big, slow breath as you expand into the fullness of your stretch. And exhale and curl it in. So we're just taking our time here today, moving nice and slow. If you are experiencing pain, it's important that you go gentle and really listen to your body. Take breaks when you need to and don't push beyond your level of comfort. So this is all about self-care. This is all about self-love, taking care of yourself in your practice. Now at the end of your last exhale here, let's go ahead and come on up to a nice easy seat. And then you'll reach your right fingertips down to the floor. Arc your left arm up and over moving into a nice side body stretch, really feeling that opening along the left side of your waist. And roll your gaze up towards the sky and notice how that opens your shoulder and your chest. So we're getting more of a true side body stretch as you look up and under the left arm. Then on your inhale, gently rise yourself back up and we're going to sweep that left hand across to your right knee. Tiptoe your right fingertips back. As you inhale here, lift and extend up through the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, you can begin to leverage yourself into an even deeper twist. Rotating through the rib cage, working into the stretch. Let yourself feel into the moment, enjoying this stretch. And from here, we're going to maintain the twist. Begin to walk your hands off to that right side. So you begin to lean your heart down towards the floor, gently folding over that right leg. So this is gonna help you access more of a stretch across the left side, low back, as you twist and fold. And slowly roll yourself back up. 
We're going to come all the way back to center. Let your hands relax onto your knees. Then gently rock back, and we are going to change the cross of your legs, bringing the other foot forward. So this is going to be you know, your less dominant side. So coming into just a new experience of your seat. And we'll go ahead and move on to the second side. So tiptoe the left fingertips over as you reach the right arm up and overhead, opening along the right side of your waist. You can turn your gaze up towards the sky for a deeper side body flexion, really working into that stretch, feeling the spaces between your ribs all the way down along your waist. Really nice stretch along the right side. And slowly rise as you inhale your breath. Then exhale as you sweep the right arm across to the left knee. And we'll walk those left fingertips back. Then on your inhale, we lift, extending up through the crown of your head and working your way into a deeper twist on the exhale. So we're pressing the air out as you twist a little deeper over to that left side. And maintaining the twist here, you can begin to walk your hands over to that left side. So we fold forward here, leaning over onto that left side. Now go slow and gentle as you feel into that stretch along the right side, low back. Feeling your breath as you work into the stretch. Just take your time. Then we'll slowly walk your hands back in, pressing yourself back up to center. Then let your hands rest on your knees and just gently sway your spine side to side. So there is no wrong way to do this movement and it does not matter what it looks like. This is really just a moment for you to get in touch with the fluidity of your spine. So as you gently sway, try to let your neck be included, feel your low back included, or just loosening up any areas that are feeling stuck or immobilized, right? So let it be organic like a piece of seaweed caught in the current. And we'll slowly begin to bring your movement to a close, slowly making your way back to center, right? So good. Now, we are going to move into some deeper stretches to continue mobilizing the spine. Now go ahead and step your right foot to the outside of your left leg. And we want to try and really ground and anchor through the sole of that right foot. And wrap your left arm around that right knee, hugging your knee in towards your shoulder. So we really get a nice tight squeeze. This is going to start to awaken a stretch across your right hip. So that's a good sign. You're going to bring your right hand to the floor, again, using this as a tool to help you lift and extend up through your spine. So that action of lift gives you more space in between the vertebrae, so you can work even a little bit deeper into that spinal rotation. So we're really working the twist a little bit deeper here, even as you hug that left, the right knee in. Now maintain this deep twist and bring your right hand behind your head. Then arc your right elbow up towards the sky. So we're leaning towards the left, feeling a stretch into the right shoulder and along the right side between the ribs. Good work. Slowly release. Make your way back to the front. We're going to keep the legs where they are. Bring both hands over to the left side, rotating your ribs around. We come into a nice little counter twist, like untwisting, unrolling the spine. 
Then we'll slowly make your way back to center. And from here, you can swing your right leg around behind you, gently bending into the knee. So you have a little ziggy zaggy in the legs. Now bring your right fingertips down to the floor and sweep that left arm up and over. This is taking you into a really yummy side body stretch, even deeper than we've been before. So this is taking that stretch even deeper down into the hip, down into the full length of the spine. And we'll slowly rise, pulling yourself up to center. Float the left hand down and circle your right arm across to the left side. So both hands are gonna be parallel to each other on that left side. Now press into the mat to lift up your chest and work the rib cage around. So we're working into a nice rotation. And with that right leg back behind you, getting a good stretch into the hip flexors, releasing tension through the hips and the low back. So work your way into that twist, really let it feel good. And you can stay for this last moment, just right here where you are, or you can begin to play around with folding forward over that left leg. And as you do, you can reach that right arm across. So we maximize the stretch as you begin to fold down. You can just play with it in degrees. Just be with this shape however it feels good to your body. And slowly make your way back around to center. We are going to swing that right leg back around to the front. This time, bringing the sole of your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Bring your fingertips down to the floor alongside your knee, pressing into the mat. So again, we lift and lengthen through the spine. Take a deep breath in right here. And as you exhale, begin to tiptoe your fingertips forward, just working your way into a fold. And don't let yourself get hung up on how deep or how far you can fold. Just let yourself soften and release. And as best you can, think about letting the left shoulder come down at the same level as the right shoulder. So sometimes when the back is tight, we get a little lopsided. So as you soften into the stretch, try and square the chest and shoulders so that you fold forward evenly over that right leg. Nice stretch for three, two, and one. And slowly walk your hands in, pressing yourself back up. And you can move this sequence onto the second side. So go ahead and fold the right leg in and step the left foot to the outside of your right leg. And again, we wanna stabilize and ground through the sole of that left foot. Then wrap your right arm around that left knee and give it a squeeze. We wanna hug your knee in towards your shoulder so you begin to access the stretch at the back of your hip. Then placing your left fingertips to the floor, let's take an inhale to lift and extend up through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, see if you can leverage yourself into a deeper twist, working that rotation, spiraling the heart around, feel into that twist. And then we are going to bring your left hand behind your head, gently arc your left elbow, up towards the sky. So taking it into a combo stretch. It's a side bend with a twist. So two things happening simultaneously. Good work. We'll slowly release that shape, keeping your feet where they are. 
Just reach both hands over to the right side of your mat. Just work that rib cage around, taking a little counterbalance in the twist, just unwinding the spine. And slowly make your way back to center and we will sweep that left leg back around behind you. Bending into the knees, we have that nice ziggy zaggy shape. Then bring your left hand down to the floor, begin to arc the right arm up and over. Nice side body stretch here. So as you lean your weight into this right hip, it's really giving you even more stretch along the right side body, taking it down into the hip, down into the sacrum. We maximize the side stretch. And slowly rise. Floating your right fingertips down to the floor. Then you can sweep your left hand across. So you can see both hands are side by side across on the right side of your body. And we press into the mat to lift and lengthen your spine. Then work that twist, working the rib cage around. So this is gonna give you that great twist in your spine, that good stretch across the left hip flexors. You can stay right here. If this is your yummiest stretch all day, just be with it and enjoy it. You can also take it a little deeper by bending your elbows and letting your heart reach down towards the floor. Extra bonus, if you reach the left arm across, maximizing the stretch across the entire left side of your body. Big stretch wherever you want to be with it, whatever's feeling good to you today. And in time, we'll gently rise nice and slow. Take your time. Then rotating back to the front, you can circle the left leg to the top of your mat. And bring that right foot to the inside of your thigh. Place your hands to the floor and press into the mat lifting to extend up through the crown of your head and slowly tiptoe those fingertips forward folding down find a nice easy stretch so it really really doesn't matter how far forward you fold what matters is that you are breathing into the stretch however deeply it goes then just be mindful that you're not lopsided or twisted in this stretch. Try to rotate the shoulders parallel to the floor as you fold down over your left leg. So we want to find those deep, full breaths that will help your body to soften so you can ease into this stretch even more. Taking it one breath at a time, one moment at a time, savoring the experience. And slowly walk your hands back in, pressing yourself up from here. Okay, go ahead and bring the soles of your feet flat to the floor. Okay, now we can bring your hands back to the mat behind you. And we are going to work a little reverse tabletop. So this is really wonderful for opening the front body. We've been focusing a lot on the spine and the back. And of course, the whole trunk is one solid connected piece. So when it comes to relieving pain in the back, we also have to open up the front body as well. So we're going to work our reverse tabletop here with your hands pressing down to the mat your feet parallel to each other. Begin to stand into your legs, pressing with your hands. Try to lift your hips in line with your knees. Then see if you can push with your hands and lift up your rib cage. So we really feel a stretch across the chest and the shoulders. And if you're feeling good here, you can softly open your gaze, lifting your chin, feel a stretch across the front of your neck. 
then slowly release, leading with your hips, guiding you back to your seat. Try to take it slow and mindful. Then we are going to repeat and come back into that reverse tabletop. So when you're ready, moving at a nice, easy pace, standing into the legs. Don't crunch your back. Use your arms, use your legs here to help you find spaciousness as you lift up the hips and lift up the ribs. Only if it feels good will you begin to lean the head back and find that stretch across the front of your neck. Then we'll slowly release, leading with the tailbone, leading with the hips, guiding you back towards the floor. And we're gonna come in and do that one more time. If this, if this is feeling intense or like a little too much for you, you can do a bridge pose or you can just hug your knees in and stretch your back, take a break if you need to. Okay, but let's go for it one more time. If that's in your wheelhouse, we're gonna press the hips up towards the sky, finding stability, strength, and support in your legs. Lifting your hips up, you lift your rib cage high and slowly begin to open your head back if that feels good to you. Finding your edge, finding your best stretch, and we'll slowly release it down, leading with your hips, guiding your way back to your seat. Good, now let's wrap your arms around your shins. Give yourself a little squeeze here. You can gently round through your spine for a gentle stretch along your back. Then once again, we're gonna come back into our nice, easy seat. Just finding your way into that comfortable sitting position. Of course, you can always have a cushion or a blanket or something to sit on if that feels good. And bring your hands back onto your knees and we'll move back into that seated cat and cow. And just kind of compare the difference and notice how you feel. So your inhale lifts you up, rolling those shoulders back. Peel your heart and chest open as you lift through your gaze. Then exhale, rounding your spine. Curl it in from the belly button. You can even rock back a little bit to increase the stretch in your back. Then we inhale and come forward. Nice, big, deep breath in. Exhale and round. And so this is going to happen according to the rhythm of your own natural breath. So we might all be moving at a slightly different pace here, and that's okay. What's the most important is your own personal journey with your breath and your body. After you've had some time to go through these rounds of cat and cow, we'll just come back to a nice easy seat. Take a couple of deep breaths where you are. Let yourself just relax in this easy seat, turning your awareness inward. Use this time to observe how you feel. Notice the shifts and the changes. It doesn't take long. It doesn't have to take a lot of time or even a lot of effort to give your body the attention that it needs to relieve the pain that you suffer daily. So thank yourself for showing up for your practice today. Thank yourself for showing up for your body today. And I thank you for joining me and for allowing me to guide you. And I hope that you will come back next week when we continue our pain relief practice. You can find me at my website, jenhillman.com. You can also find me on my social media at jenhillman. And you can find all of your favorite Yoga TX videos ad-free on the new Yoga V community. There are details on that below. So thank you for joining me in this practice. Thank you for taking care of you. I hope you're feeling amazing. 
and I can't wait to see you next week.